So I'm just doing some light joint manipulations to warm up my, my body. I'm doing some wrist warm ups. Cool, I'm gonna do my elbows now. Simple, moving my forearms. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome guys and girls and moms and dads. Okay, there you go. Stand in the front. Okay, I'm gonna do some shoulder rolls. Okay. Make sure you have your water. You're gonna want water today. Today's gonna be hard. Today's gonna be tough. Nothing too complicated. But we're gonna get you moving. I'm going to switch directions with my shoulder rolls. Okay, time to warm up the legs a little bit. We're going to just swing one leg and make some circles. Working on the balance and the stability already on the ankles. I'm going to change directions. Already starting to challenge the balance a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna switch legs. Come here. All right, change direction with that leg. So we haven't officially started, so if you're still getting your space ready, don't worry about joining in right now. Cool, all right, do some wide sideways lunges. Gorgeous week this, this week we're having. There you go. Beautiful weather. Nice and easy. The longer we warm up, the softer we warm up, the easier it's going to be to jump right in. So that's why you see me doing this. Okay, I'm going to do some ankles now. So I'm going to sit down, just balance on my tailbone, and make some ankle rotations here. Big circles, working out the ankles. Good, I'm gonna change directions. Nice, welcome everybody. Good to see all you friendly faces. Okay, I'm gonna point my toes, flex them towards my knees. Point and flex, point. Good. All right, we're gonna do some hip twists again, some spinal twists. This time we're gonna open up our arms, try to do a full twist. We're stretching the muscles out along the sides of our ribs and we're warming up the juice in our spine. Yeah. 
Nice. Now we're going to go out wide. Cross. All right, arms are going to go up in the air, and we're going to draw big circles with our arms, pretending that we're drawing a big circle on the ceiling. Done. Big circles. When your arms go back, push your hips forward. Try to stay straight when your arms are front. Don't bend over. Okay, let's change directions here. So if you're just joining us, welcome, welcome. Grab some water. Make sure you got it. Make sure you clear your space around. All right, cool. It's two o'clock on Wednesday. Nice to see you all. Cool. So we've got a maybe a shorter day today. We might end about five, ten minutes early. It's to get it's gonna be really tough today. Letting you know right now if it's gonna be a challenge. So if you are ready for a challenge, let me see you raise your hand. Cool. Nice. Awesome. All right, so it's day eleven. We're in our third week of our move, jump, and spin dance. And uh, we're gonna be doing our warm up today. It's gonna be a little bit longer, a little bit harder. Um, some conditioning for parkour. We're doing our core exercise. We'll do our balances. And then we're gonna do a review of our trick from our first week. Um, so before we get started, make sure you've got your water. Your water ready? Uh, we're not gonna need a towel. So don't worry about that. Uh, if you do want a towel just to wipe the sweat, that might be useful too. Um, so just take a look around, make sure your area is open and available. And we're gonna start with 40 seconds of jumping jacks. Normally we do 30, but today we're gonna up it a little bit. And we're gonna start with our arms by our sides, okay? And before we start, we're all gonna take three really deep breaths, okay? So we're gonna start in for the nose and out. All the air out. Again, in. Big breath and out. All the air out. Last one. Breath in and out. We're gonna start 40 seconds of jumping jacks. Here we go. And 40, 29, 28, 30, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 31, 30, 28. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Still warming up. Okay. The next thing we're going to do are some squats. Okay. These are going to be a lot like our frog jump squats, except we're going to leave our heels on the ground. Okay. So knees are going to go out wide. We're going to keep our arms right out in front of us. Okay. Look at my heels. Watch. I'm going to show you one more time. One time. Squat down and up. Okay. We want our hips to go past our knees, okay? We're just gonna do this for 30 seconds. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. I'm gonna do one per second. So we're doing 30 of these, nice and light. We're not jumping, keep the heels on the floor. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 21, 20, 19, 
18, nice job, good job. 17, 16, 15, get those hips lower than the knees. 14, 13, 12, 11, your legs are burning. 10, that's good, nine, keep it up. Eight, almost there, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, and one. Woo, good job. Shake your legs out, shake it out. I told you it was gonna be a challenge today. All right, nice job. Okay, we're gonna go right into push-ups. 10 push-ups. So get on down, softly, gently, rest on the knees. Take your breath, we're gonna take three deep breaths right here. Here we go, breathe in and out. In and out. Big, big breath, last one in and out. Okay, walk your hands forward for our push-ups. So we're just doing 10. You have the option for however style push-up you wanna do. My elbows are gonna be right along my ribs. I welcome you to do the one I'm doing as well. All right, I've got my knee down, getting my body nice and straight. Once my foot, my back foot and my hands are ready, my back is solid, take my other leg back. And 10 of them, here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay. Now, we're gonna do frog jumps. Okay, we're only gonna do 10 of them. Okay? So while you're slow and squatted, I want you sitting on your heels. Our heels are up now. These are frog jumps. Okay? Arms between the knees, fingertips on the ground. Okay? We're gonna breathe as we jump. Okay? So we're doing 10 of these. Breathe all the way out of your lungs. Inhale as you jump. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, air and up, 3, 2, and last one. Bam! Nice job. You guys are awesome. All right. Shake your legs out. We're going to go sideways monkey. Okay, sideways monkey. So pick a side, squat all the way down. Okay, and between each one of these, we're gonna do our three deep breaths. So, air out, air in, air out, air in. Last one, breathe all the air out, put the hands down. Inhale as we lift our legs up. Breathe out as we put our feet down. Inhale, exhale. Back across. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, oh, exhale. Good. Reach, hop the feet across. Good. You can keep your feet nice and low. Not doing anything crazy here. Good. Back and forth. We've got about 10 more seconds. Good job. See those palms are flat, your fingers are spread. Good, and then last time, back across. Awesome. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. All right, shake the legs out. Shake the arms. Stay loose, shake the body a little bit. Nice job, okay. Next thing we're gonna do are forward Kongs. So we're just gonna go one direction forward in whatever path you wanna make on the ground, okay? So we're gonna do our three breaths again. So all the air goes out. Breathe in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Last one in. And then breathe out as we squat on down. Okay, for Kongs, arms go on the outside of the legs, okay? These can be little Kongs today. They're gonna be, whatever you can do to save your energy a little bit on the easy things, you should do it. We're gonna burn a lot of exercise, burn a lot of energy for the big moves. So, one more time, we're gonna breathe out, get our body down, 
And then as we reach our hands, we breathe in. So coordinate your breathing. Quick breaths. Inhale as you reach. Exhale, legs underneath. So little Kongs all the way around. We're doing this for 20 seconds. Good. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, stand up. Shake the legs out. We're going to go backwards, Kongs, next. Woo. Good job, you guys. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay? Good. Three solid breaths. In and out. In and out. Breathing well is going to help get your physical activity where you want it. So we're going to go backwards, Kongs. Arms on the outside of the legs. Okay? My heels are up, right? Okay. Breathe all the air out. Get your body nice and small. And let's go back. Walk the hands to the knees. And we're going to do this for 15 seconds going backwards at your own pace. Here we go. Good. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, stand on up. Shake the legs out. Woo -wee. Good job, you guys. Okay, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. We're not going to get water yet until our handstands are over. So get ready for our handstands. Find a wall, find a chair, find a couch, find a bed that you can put your feet up against. Tuck your shirt in so it doesn't fall over your face. And before we start this, we're going to take three really deep breaths. All the air out first. Air in. And out. Air in. And out. Last one in. And out. We're going to squat down. Okay. Palms are flat. Fingers are spread. I'm going to keep saying it all the time. Okay. We're going to sing our ABCs when we go upside down. So take your hands on the ground. Palms flat. Fingers spread. Walk the feet up behind. And here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Walk your feet all the way down. You just earned your first water break. Get some water. Good job. Nice handstands. Where's Cameron? Where's Cameron? Oh, good job, you guys. All right, the next thing we're going to do is. We're going to practice some swing leg precisions. And now a swing leg precision. So if you've got, if you've got a precision block, go ahead and grab that. I'm going to use a towel just so I've got somewhere to jump. Okay, I'm not going to jump on my towel. I'm just going to jump to it to the side. If you've got a precision trainer, go ahead and lay it out. I'll give you a second here, but basically what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to start with both legs in one spot. We're going to take one leg and we're going to put it behind. Okay. From here, our arms are going to go back with that leg. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing our leg and our arms 
at the same time. And what that's going to do is that's going to throw us forward. And when we're in the air, we're going to bring the bottom leg up to meet the top. And then they're going to come down together to land in your precision. So I'll show you one example here. Legs and arms go back. We're going to swing forward. And we're going to land on two feet. Okay, just like that. So we're going to do 10 on uh, one leg, and then we'll switch, do it on the other. So let's start on our right leg. This is my right. This is my right. This might be your left, but it doesn't really matter. So 10 of them, starting right now, go to your own pace. Leg and arms go back, swing it forward, and land. Good. Turn around. Leg back, arms back, swing them forward, land. Great. Here's three. Good. Turn around. Four. Whoop. My ground is moving. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Really use your arms counterbalance and to swing your weight forward okay now i'm going to do 10 on my left leg left leg is back with the arms swing them forward and land good nine more boom swing back and down good seven left good six let your arms swing Five. Let your arms be nice and long. Four. Good. Three. Good. Two. Legs, arms back. Swing forward. Land. Last one. Here we go. Boom. Awesome job. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is work on our rolls. I'm going to point this down so you can see what we're doing for rolls here. Okay, so I'm all the way down. And now for this roll, you have a towel you can use that to roll on if you're on a hard surface. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a backwards roll only to the point where our toes touch behind us. And then we're going to roll back forward. So what that's going to look like, and remember, both knees should stay together as they go over your shoulder. If your knees are apart, on either side of your head, you're going to get stuck. So if your knees are going over like this, it's not going to work. You've got to bring your legs together, pick a shoulder, and then bring them over. Okay? So we're going to do a backwards roll, toe tap to a forwards roll. And that's going to look like this. So my arms are down by my side. Both of my legs are going to come all the way over. They're, my legs are going to tap. Then I'm going to go back forward. Okay? We're going to go uh, so, uh, 10 on each side. Okay? So we're going to go right shoulder first. Okay? Leg, uh, our legs are out in front. Our knees are bent. Okay? If our legs are really long, it's going to be a lot more work to get that over. So if our legs are bent, Everything's close. This is already a ball. As it comes over, it's going to roll right over. Okay, so legs are bent. Feet are flat on the floor. Arms are on our side. Okay, we're going to have to flex our abs, flex our core for a second to bring those legs over. So here we go. Ten on one side. Here we go. Legs over. Tap. Bring it back. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, just touch those toes, seven, eight, get your head out of the way, nine, and ten, good, nice, all right, we're going to switch sides, ten on the other side, arms are wide, come on over, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, 
four, Woo. three, feel the burn, two, yeah, last one, all the way over, Touch. and back to beginning. Nice job, guys. Nice, nice job. Okay. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stay nice and low on the ground. We're going to do one-handed push-ups, okay? But we're not going to go all the way down. It's not going to be as difficult as a normal push-up. Um, it'll, it'll be actually a little bit easier. Um, but just so you start to get used to the feeling of being on that one arm. Okay, so for this, what we're gonna do, excuse me, we're gonna start in a push-up position with our legs really wide. Okay, so my hands are down, my legs are really wide. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is take one arm, put it behind my back, and I'm gonna take this elbow and bring it down. Okay, you can keep this arm straight or you can bend it a little bit, but we're gonna be in our tripod here. Legs wide, arm is down. We're gonna do uh, six of these on each side. So from right here, give yourself a moment. Give yourself a moment, let's shake our arms out before we start. This might be kind of intense for some of you, but remember, only make it as hard as you can and complete what we're doing. So if you're falling, don't go down so far. Most of this is a three-pointed stance with our arms and our legs. Okay, so. We're going to start after three deep breaths. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one in and exhale. All right, we're going to get ready. We got our feet wide. We have both hands down to start. We're going to take one arm, put it behind us, and drop the elbow. Here we go. Six times. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. We're going to switch sides. Okay. Remember, feet nice and wide. Arms. Regular push-up position. Now we take one arm, we bring it behind us, and we're going to bend that elbow to that shoulder down to the ground. Good. So, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay. Now, before we get our water, we've got one last strength move before we get water. Okay. Oop, still can't see me, my head. You can't see me head. All right. Last thing we do before we get water, we're gonna do 10 burpees, okay? So, what's a burpee? A burpee is we start standing, drop down, hands and feet on the ground, legs out, body flat. From here, we're gonna do a push up, get our feet underneath us, then we're gonna jump up and reach the sky, okay? I'll give you different options here. So. A normal burpee, down, up, reach. Down, back up, and reach. That's a normal burpee. We've got parkour burpees, and those are with a tuck jump. And that's gonna look like this. Starting from regular, down, flat. And then we come up, we jump with our arms up, and then we're gonna jump, tuck our knees, Tap our knees before we land and back down. Pretty intense. I'm gonna say if you're level three, I want you to tuck your knees. If you're level one or two, go with the straight jump in the air, okay? So we're gonna take our three deep breaths before we start. Let's reset our body. So breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Last one, we're mentally preparing for these burpees. We only have 10. Inhale. Exhale, and 10, drop down. Good. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. 
five. Almost there. Three. Two. Last one. Here we go. Ah! Woo! Nice job. All right, good water. It's water time. All right. Keep breathing nice and deeply. What time are we going to stop this? Speed? Good. Breathe. Breathe more than you feel like you should be right now. <sighs> Deeper and longer. <sighs> oh, I know that was hard. Oh man, if you're doing it, awesome job. If you only did five of those, that's still awesome. Woo, if you did 12, you're amazing. Okay. All right. Woo. Everything's going to start getting a little easier from now on. Well, until our end, until the very last bit. So we're going to be on our belt. We're going to be on the, on the ground a little bit here for our core stuff. Okay. So this time we're going to be doing uh, an elbow elbow plank and we're going to hold it for a minute okay so an elbow plank what is an elbow plank that's when we have our forearms down on the ground and our legs are back like this this is your forearm plank this is a regular plank this is a forearm plank okay so before we start while i'm explaining i want to practice breathing deeply okay into the nose out through the mouth, okay? We're gonna be holding our elbow plank for one whole minute, okay? It's a simple move. If you need to drop your knees, that's fine. I don't want you to touch your belly to the ground. One minute is not a long time, but it's also a long time, okay? So if you have a song that you like to sing to yourself, you can sing that while we do this. I'm gonna count down from 60 and we're gonna get strong together. Okay, so walk our arms out. Okay, you can interlace your fingers if you want to. That helps you strengthen your arm, get your arms a little, feel a little stronger. You can also have your hands to the ground as well. So I'm gonna wait until everybody's in this starting position with me. Okay, I've got one leg back, I've got my knee underneath me supporting. And when I'm ready, when I see you guys in a position, nice job. Okay. So we're going to start 60 seconds once I lift up my leg. So let's take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the leg up. And 60. 59. 58. 57. 56. 55. 54. 53. 52. 51. Count with me. 50. 49. 48. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, count with me, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, we are halfway there, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, keep your belly tight, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, we're so close, 17, 16, hang in there, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, drop the belly down, reach the arms out in front, and just rest here for a second. Breathe in and breathe out. Deep breath. Inhale and exhale. One more deep breath and exhale. All right, bring the hands under the shoulders, push it back to your knees so you're sitting. Okay. All right. The next thing we're going to do 
is mountain climbers. Okay, so it's like we're, we're basically doing a, a plank on our hands, but we're gonna move our knees as fast as we can right underneath us. Okay, like we're climbing a mountain, we're moving our legs like this. Okay, so for this, most of our weight is gonna be in our hands. Okay, we wanna be shifted forward a little bit. So our fingers are actively doing their job to create a, a nice base for the rest of our body, okay? Palms flat, fingers are spread, okay? We're gonna do this for 20 seconds, okay? And the goal here is to move your legs as fast as you can. We're practicing sprinting on the ground, but our hands are sticking, sticking there. Okay, so let's get ready. Arms are gonna be out in front, leg back behind. Okay, we're in an upper high push up position. Okay, so when I say so, we're gonna pick up our leg and we're gonna start our countdown from 20. So, everybody, three deep breaths. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, pick up the leg. 20 seconds right here. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop the knees. Nice job. Not so bad. All right. So let's lay on our backs. You guys are awesome. All right. From here, we're going to do 10 sit-ups. All right. So Monday we did crunches. And crunches is when we just lift our shoulders. But with a sit-up, we're going to lift our whole body off the ground. Or not our whole body, but our whole upper body. Okay? So this is a sit up. This is a crunch. Crunch, sit up. Okay? So your sit up's probably gonna start with a crunch, but it's really important that you go all the way up. So let's do our three prep breaths. Air out first, breathe in, and out. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one in. Exhale. Okay. You can have your arms back by your ears. You can have your arms out in front to help you lift forward. Whatever helps you get all the way up. So we're going to breathe in all the way. And then we breathe out. That's going to be our first sit up. Okay. And as we come down, we're going to breathe in again. So here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sit up. Good. 10. Nine, eight, seven. Inhale on the way down. Exhale, six on the way up. Five, good. Four, three, two, last one. Here we go. And 10. Awesome. You guys are so great. Okay. The last thing we're going to do, we're going to stay lying down, but the last thing we're going to do to finish out our core section is we're going to do some bridges, okay? So we're doing a lot of work on the front of our body with all these crunches. We're going to work on the back of our body, okay? So what we're going to do is we want our elbows close to our, our sides, okay? And your hands should be able to reach your heels. You should be able to grab your feet with the space between your thumb and your first finger, okay? So we're going to do 15 hip lifts all the way to uh, basically a shoulder bridge. So here we go, breathe in and out. Two more breaths, in and out. Last breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna lift our hips all the way up for 15, good, drop them down. 14, drop them down. 13, drop 12, get those hips high, 11, Good. Flex your lower back. Nine. No, it's ten. Nine. Eight. 
Seven. Six. Push with your heels. Push with your feet. Five. Six. Is that six? Five? I don't know where we're at. Five. Four. Three. Two. And we're going to hold this last one for 10 seconds. Hip all the way up. Hold it for 10. Nine. Eight. Push down with the heels. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Everything back down. Legs out flat. And just rest here for a couple of seconds. Well, we're going to rest here for 30 seconds. Good. So breathe in. Through the nose. Out through the mouth. And I don't want you to breathe small breaths, big breaths. Fill up your lungs like a balloon. Blow them out like a whoopee cushion. But don't make the noise. All the air in. Fill the balloon in the belly. Exhale. Good. Got another 20 seconds to lie down here. And exhale. Breathe in and up. The belly, belly goes high. And exhale. Good. A couple more deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Breathe all the air out. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock to your feet. Water break. Time for a water break. Get some water. Water, water, water. I won't be able to do a bottom flip after this. All right, so if you're a level one and you are dripping with sweat and you can't handle it anymore, you can be done, okay? Level ones, if that was enough, but level twos and level threes, you're sticking with me. We got a little bit more to go. We're gonna practice our tricks. If you're a level one and you're gonna stick through it, power to you. If you feel like you can handle more, we're gonna do more, okay? So what we're gonna do, is a um, some balancing stuff. So what we're going to do is the uh, we're doing some reach unders um, for our QM QM balancing part. So normally, hello, hi Logan. All right. So what we've done before is done a full body pivot with our QM. And that looks like this. We take one leg and we move it where our foot was and we come under like this, okay? But this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our arms and our legs underneath us and we're gonna lift up one arm and one leg and we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna do the other arm, another leg, and hold it for 10 seconds. We'll do that three times, three rounds. But what I want you to focus on is making sure that when your leg and your arm goes up, they're level, or at least level. I don't want you sinking down nice and low. I don't want you just picking them up. I want you to really lift, okay? So using the muscles in our shoulder and our back to lift our legs and our arms up, okay? so. This is nothing too crazy or complicated. We're just doing a QM balancing diagonally with our body. Okay? So let's take three deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Last breath in. Let's get our body in position. So we've got our hands are wide and our feet are wide. Okay? Hard to, hard to see. There we go. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start with one side for 10 seconds. Lift one arm and the opposite leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop it down. Other side. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Lift the hand, lift the feet. 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. All right, drop your knees. Give yourself a break. We're going to do two more sets. Okay, so breathe in, three breaths. In and out. 
in and out in and out all right hands out in front hands are wide feet are wide 10 seconds lift it up 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 good 10 more seconds on the other side 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one, drop the hand, drop the knee, three breaths. All right, nice, you guys, this is a balancing section, but it's really difficult. So focus on being stable, okay? Keep breathing, in and out. Last breath in, and last breath out. Okay, last set, here we go. Hands are wide, so are the feet, and lift. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Last, last time. Here we go. Last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the hand. Drop the knee. Woo! All right, you guys. Very nice. It says on my notes to get some more water. So that's what we're going to do. On your feet, grab another sip of water. Glug, 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 glug. All right. Now we're going to do a lunge switch. Okay? So this is sort of like a headless instructor. Bog crane. Right. Okay. So we're gonna do some jump. I still want to head, but I'll have it here. Oh, one more, one more switch. All right. So keep breathing deeply, and we're gonna do some lunge, jumping lunge switches. Okay. So we're gonna start kneeling. Okay. So what we're going to do is you can keep your arms here, you can have your arms up, or for a third option, um, we can switch with our hands and we can reach over that front leg to do a, to a uh, torso twist. Okay, so what this is going to look like is we're going to do 16 of these, but we're going to start in a low lunge. So one knee is back and low, other knee is right up here in front. Okay, so a lunge switch, what that looks like is we're going to come up. I switch and drop the back knee. Okay, really simple. You can do whatever you want with your arms. You can use them for balance. You can have them up to challenge your balance. Or if you want it even more, you can reach over a front leg to twist your body. But we're going to do 16 of these. So eight on each side. So before we start, let's take some deep breaths in and out. Prepare the body, give it oxygen. The muscles use oxygen to do all this stuff, okay? So, we're gonna start with our back knee low, okay? Our back toes are tucked under, ready to start. Front knee is out, right over the heel, okay? Now, if you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Awesome, here we go. We're gonna start by bringing our knee up and counting the, Counting down from right here. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Pretty easy but difficult at the same time. Okay. All right. So now we're moving into our trick section. If you've been able to do all this stuff so far, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a little round of applause. We're gonna do a review on our Valdez, okay? And then our Mococos. So what's a Valdez? A Valdez, 
is basically a one-handed pivot um, to your uh, kind of a, a cool move to get back to your feet. And we're going to start that nice and squatted here. Okay, our hand is going to reach down next to us. Okay, and we're going to practice putting our weight on our hands. Okay, so we're going to do five jumps with our weight just on our hands. Our legs are going to come up to the side. So we're going to be upside, or we're going to be sideways in the air. Okay, so let's take three deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Okay, so we're going to do five of these. So hand is down, palms flat, fingers are spread. We're going to lift our legs up and try to get our body super sideways. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Switch sides. Breathe in and out. Palms flat, fingers spread. Breathe in and out. Breathe in last time and out. We're going to jump sideways, legs totally side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so that's the warm up for the Valdez. I'm going to go back to the other side. And so now we're going to do a full, full Valdez, and that's going to look like this. My hand is down to the side. I'm going to jump. I'm going to start facing towards the camera, and I'm going to finish facing away from the camera. Okay? So hand goes down, and we're here. Okay? So we're going to do six of those on each side. Okay? And you can just do this in a circle. So wherever your hand lands, just pivot your hand, and we'll go back around. Okay? So we've got six of these on one hand, and then we're going to switch sides. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Last breath in, put your hand down, and six. Here we go. Good. Pivot the hand. Good. Good. Three, two more. All right, boom. Other side now. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Last breath in, put that palm flat, fingers spread, fingers point behind us. Here we go, six. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Whew, good job. All right. Who remembers how to cartwheel? If you can cartwheel, raise your hand. Okay, awesome. I didn't have a cartwheel since right, then. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cartwheel from a squatted position, okay? So from here, we're gonna take both of our hands, we're gonna put them out in front, okay? We're gonna take one leg back, so we're in this deep, running position. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna rock back, we're gonna lift up the leg, same, I mean the arm, the same arm is back here by the leg. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump and lunge off of our front leg. As we do that, we're gonna put our hand down. Okay, so normally we start from here, we drop down, and we still lunge off this front leg, bring our hands down, but here what we're gonna do, we're gonna start from a low, low, low lunge here, okay? We're gonna put the same hand down as the same leg. Okay, so now as we jump, as we maneuver, as we initiate the maneuver, we're gonna jump off the front leg and then come up to a standing position, okay? So we're gonna do four of those on each side, okay? We're gonna do the same side four times in a row and then we'll switch. So get down in your low lunge, okay? We're bas you can basically do this from a, a seated position back here. Okay, so arm is down, front arm is down. It's the same arm as the leg that's in front. Okay, so we're gonna do four of these. 
And lunge up, put the hand down, kick back and stand up. Okay, reset. Front leg and front hand. And as we go up, bring our hand as we jump. Good, that's two, we got two more. Back down, we're low to the ground. Hand in front, swing it over with the leg and the arm, and go. Just standing. Last one. Okay, here we go. Right hand, right foot is down. Left arm goes up as we jump. Okay, other side. Okay, this time my left leg is out in front, along with my left hand. I'm low on this bottom leg. And here we go. We're going to throw our arm up. We're going to lunge. Three deep breaths. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And then as we well, exhale, we're going to jump up. Here we go. And up. Good. And switch. Okay. We're loading all, everything, every, all of our body weight on that front leg. Okay. Here we go. Throw the arm up, behind, and cartwheel. Good. Reset. Two more. And in front. Arm behind. This arm is going to swing up as we lee, lunge, and cut. Good. All right. Was that two? I think that's two. Let's do two more. Okay. Leg and arm is down. Arm goes up. And jump. Last one. For good luck. Here we go. We're down. Hand on the ground. Other arm up. And last cartwheel, up. Good. And remember, I'm not a gymnast. I'm not an Olympian. My cartwheels aren't perfect, and yours don't have to be either. Okay. For the last thing that we're going to do is the macaco. And this is one of my favorite moves because with a little bit of biomechanical knowledge of what your body is going to be doing, it's really easy. Doesn't take a lot of effort and it looks really cool all the time. Okay? So it's a lot like a Valdez where we had our hand to the side, but this time we're going to turn our body away from our hand. Okay? And the same thing is going to happen. Okay? We're going to use this same leg and the same arm to do all of the heavy lifting. And then the other arm is going to come up with the legs. So it was a lot like this move, but we're starting from the other direction, okay? So in this little move, as we start to shift over, our body is going to start changing directions towards the front of our body, okay? So I'll show you one time what this looks like, okay? So most of the work is done on the same leg as the same arm that's down, okay? Here we go. And up, boom, okay? Very similar to what we've been doing. And this just takes a little bit of practice, but it shouldn't be that difficult, okay? It's just gonna take time to figure out where your body is in the air, okay? So we're gonna do six of these on each side. So my right hand is back. Most of my weights in my right foot, my left leg and my left arm, we're gonna swing over. So breathe in, you are breathing three times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. All right, here we go. We're going to go six over. Here we go. And one. Good. Reset. Good. Here we go. Hand pointing behind. And two. Good. And three. Good. Four. You don't need to touch your other hand to the ground. You don't have to touch it. I'm not touching it because that's what a full macaco looks like. But if you need to touch your hand, this is five. I'll show you what that looks like. Just the way you get out of a cartwheel. Okay? We got two more on this side. Fingers pointing away. Arm is between the legs here. Okay? Here we go. Okay. One more on this side. Here we go, last one, make it, the, make it a good one. Good job, all right.
switching directions. And I should say that everybody has a natural way that their body likes to spin in the air. And if we train both directions, it develops our brain in a way that it becomes stronger. Okay, we're able to think about things um, in different ways and using both parts of our brains effectively at the same time. Hey, so I'm also not a neurosurgeon, so I recommend doing some research, but you'll find some good stuff. So here we go. Breathe in three times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, so our, my left hand is pointing away. My left leg is where I'm gonna be loading everything on. My right arm is between my knees. Okay, here we go. We got six. One. Good. Two. Good. Three. Nice. Halfway there. Four. Good. Five. Six. Woo. Seven. We're only supposed to do six? Oh, 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 let's do one more. Let's do one more. Last one. Here we go. For all the marbles. Oh. oh, I'm tired. I bet you guys are too. All right. It's time to cool down. So, last sip of water. And then we're gonna do some stretching. I like the football player back there. Pretty sweet. All right. We always, we've been running out of time for the dance party, but I feel like we've worked so hard that it's okay. We, we don't even have any more energy left. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on our legs. And if you can, I want you to get your feet out to the side so you can sit with your tail all the way on the ground. Okay, so from right here, we're gonna widen our legs out as far as we can. Okay, give it a little stretch. We're gonna lean forward, dropping your elbows right between your knees. Okay, if you can drop your head to the ground, good job. If you can't, you can lift your chin up and just relax right here. So we're gonna breathe five deep breaths. Good, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last two breaths here. And exhale, last deep breath in. And exhale. Okay, good. We're gonna sit back. We're gonna lean over to one side and extend the leg out in front. Okay? We're gonna be out to the side here. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lean over, take five deep breaths. Try to drop your elbows to the ground. You should feel a nice stretch in your hands. Okay? Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Last breath in here. Breathe out. Okay, lean back over the bent leg. Tuck the other leg back in. Lean over the leg you just tucked. Extend the other leg. Okay. Widen that, that V in your lower body there. And we're gonna lean over and breathe five deep breaths. Here we go, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Reach those fingers forward, try to pull your body forward. Breathe in and out. Last breath in. And out. Lean over the bent leg. Tuck the other leg back in. 
widen that knees a little bit, breathe, reach all the way out, and breathe in for five seconds, or five breaths, and out. Breathe in, and out. out. Last breath in here and breathe out. Walk your body back up and now we're going to extend both legs. Okay, reach forward and I want you to just pulse until you can't go any farther and then hold your hands in that position and we're going to breathe for five breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Three. Last two breaths. Last breath. Okay, walk your hands back in. Bring your legs together. Swing your legs underneath you. Now we're going to sit here. Put your hands on your knees for a second. And we're going to think about the best thing that we're good at. Maybe it's helping people. Maybe it's finding things around the house. Maybe it's math. Maybe it's homework. Maybe it's tutoring. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you're the best puzzle maker, puzzle builder in your house. I want you to just think about the thing that you're really good at and how it could help somebody. Good. Now what I want you to think about is Something you're strong at, okay? So physically, what's something that you are good with? Your arms, your legs, are you a fast runner? Are you strong to lift stuff? I want you to think about a way that you can help somebody with that physical. Okay, the first one was mental. Now it's physical, okay? And I want you to think about your emotional strength. Okay? What can you do to make somebody else happy? Okay. How can you give to somebody that's given to you in a way that maybe doesn't take away from what you've got? Okay. You can create something. Maybe it's a hug. Maybe it's a kiss on the cheek. Maybe it's a thank you. Maybe it's telling some, maybe your mom, your food is amazing, mom. Thank you so much for cooking. All right. So think about a way that you can emotionally help somebody. Okay. Take a deep breath in. And out, your eyes aren't open, open them. And good job, everybody. That is the end of our class today. You guys did so good. If you are here and it's the end, you are amazing. That was so hard. Woo! All right, I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. If you guys wanna chat, some feedback, if you wanna show me what you got going on, I'd love to see it. So goodbye, or I'll talk to you for a Bye. little bit. Nice job, everybody. Nice job, Logan. Thank you. You're welcome. Good work today, guys. Boys and girls. Lunch. I got sweat in my eyes. All right, I'm going to end the meeting. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I can see it.